Welcome back to the Mystify Medicine series. Today, we will be talking about post-exposure prophylaxis, which is a possible treatment for HIV if taken immediately after exposure. If you want to learn more about HIV, please visit the Demystifying Medicine page or click the video link below. Let's give a pep talk. Meet Joe. Joe is a young adult, and like most young adults, Joe likes to party. Occasionally, Joe meets his special friend when he goes out, and if he's really lucky, they decide to come home with them, like tonight. Let's not get into too much detail of what happens next. You get the idea. The next morning, Joe wakes up and goes about his normal routine. Later that day, Joe attends a demystified medicine class where he watches a video about HIV. Joe panics when he remembers he did not use a condom last night and has sex with a complete stranger. Following class, Joe runs to the nearest sexual health clinic where he explains his worries to the doctor. The doctor tells him about post-exposure prophylaxis, also commonly known as PEP. The doctor explains that PEP is a form of antiretroviral therapy. PEP is taken orally and the current most common prescribed form of PEP consists of one dose of Truvada and two doses of Centris, which are taken daily. Truvada is a reverse transcriptase inhibitor, meaning it inhibits the conversion of the viral RNA to viral DNA. Whereas the Centris is an integrase inhibitor, which prevents the viral DNA from being integrated into the genomic DNA of the cell. Both these mechanisms are important in the reproduction of the HIV virus within the immune cell but with the help of PEP, the production of the HIV virus is suppressed. The doctor warns Joe that according to a case control study done on healthcare workers exposed to HIV positive blood through either a needle or sharp object found that a similar reverse transcriptase inhibitor, Zetovudine, is only about 81% effective. But to reach this level of effectiveness, it must be taken for all 28 days and treatment must be started within 72 hours of exposure. He is also told that he needs to come back after 6 weeks and 4 months for mandatory HIV antibody testing. After being prescribed to PEP, Joe feels relieved and decides to stick to the 28 day routine. While on PEP, Joe realizes that it's not always sunshine and daisies. Since starting the medication, he's experienced side effects such as abdominal pains, headaches, rashes, diarrhea, and has been fatigue. Although Joel's results ended up being negative after the 4 month mandatory HIV antibody testing, it is still recommended that PEP is only taken in emergency situations. Practicing safe sex with the use of condoms and using preventative exposure prophylaxis are more effective at ensuring that HIV is not transmitted. At the end of the day, be like Joe, contact a healthcare professional when in doubt and discover what options are available for you. A message brought to you by McMaster's Demystify Medicine page.